Hi, some of you might have seen the uh, uh, the photos I posted last week of uh, the before and after photographs of this uh, this banjo uke, which um, uh, a gentleman who lives locally to us here at Stones Music in Mottram, he uh, brought in this uke that had been in his attic for, well, I think he said it hadn't been played for about 50 years. But um, anyway, it was in a bit of a state. It had um, a, a torn skin. There was no bridge. The tuners didn't match. Uh, there was no nut, there was um, uh, an inlay missing from the fingerboard and yeah, and it was basically in a bit of a state. Uh, the wood was all dusty and grimy, the metal was all tarnished and um, it really didn't look good at all. But <clears throat> there didn't appear to be any major structural faults, so, uh, so we had it a go. It's not really what we do as a business, we're in the business of uh, supplying new ukuleles to music shops. But this was... Um, a bit of a challenge uh, and I really enjoyed it so in just over a week we've we've gone from the before pictures that you may have seen to this which is the new skin new bridge nicely polished up hardware uh, cleaned up all the woodwork not refinished it because you know these are battle scars these are marks of its age so we don't want to lose all the character and the badges come up really nicely as well as a, a Roy Schmeck standard banjo ukulele uh, the tuner that we managed to find is not an exact replacement but it's 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 okay it doesn't look particularly out of place um yeah and there we go it's quite a nice little uke really and it's not been played for as i say something like 50 years until today There we go. I think I'd be quite pleased with it. I am. <laughs>